Hello guys and welcome to another episode of 15EX Plays Sky Factory 3 Um, oh what the heck am I doing? <laughs> um, this is only episode 2 so Previously what we had done was we kind of established a kind of system of cutting down trees and composting dirt So I, I think I said past last episode that at the end of last episode that I would sift through the dirt off screen and then come back to you when I have lots of cobble sadly um I don't know whether you guys have noticed but sifting dirt is slow this is ridiculously slow and um while you you do get stuff it is just too slow and with nearly two stacks of dirt to sift through I really just feel like there should be a way to speed things up. Um, there actually is. There are heavy sieves. Now heavy sieves basically can only sieve compressed blocks. But that's the thing, right? They can sieve compressed blocks. What are compressed blocks? Compressed blocks are basically blocks of dirt. So um, a normal sieve is not able to sieve this compressed blocks of dirt. I am right clicking and it's just not going in. So that's why we need a heavy oak sieve. Um, oh. We need some oak wood and some sticks and then we've already got ourselves a sieve. So let me just go cut down some trees real quick. Right so we have our wood now and this is our heavy oak sieve. We also need a mesh but just like last time that's just nine strings. So I think I'll put this on top of the great, and then we'll insert a mesh into it. So how this works is we can now. Oh my god! And all at once, it gives us a lot of things, so we can just breeze past the seed, literally. It takes about the same time to see one block of compressed dirt on the heavy oak seed as it does take the time to sieve one block of normal dirt in a normal sieve. So as you can see, this is just way more faster, way more efficient, and I have no idea why I didn't do this before. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right, so just a little bit more, and then we'll have loads and loads of dirt. No, not dirt, stone. So... Wow, just, just look at this. So we have... Um, we have pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, spruce seeds, sugarcane, sugarcane. We have sugarcane, we have grass seeds, normal seeds, some saplings, dark oak seed, oak seed, jungle seed, birch seed, and know, acacia seed, carrot seeds, potato seeds. We, we just have a lot of seeds. <laughs> but I think most importantly, we have a lot of stone. Right, so... Cobblestone, basically. We can just really quickly get a stack and 16 stone, so that's really interesting. Next thing we have to do is generally to, I mean, we need some cobblestone to make a furnace, first of all. So we are going to want a furnace. And hmm, where should we put our furnace? I think we should expand this a little bit to the back, shouldn't we? Then we'll, we'll plop our furnace down right here. And yeah! We, we should get some charcoal going. I wanted, the main reason I want a furnace is because I want to make torches, and to make torches we're gonna need charcoal, so I guess back to the cutting. So alright, there are some cool things about burning things in this game, but alright, we'll just we'll just throw some of this in here. So we're going to get ourselves some charcoal. And right, you might be asking, you know Hey hey Vitini, 
um, then we're gonna have enough charcoal to have the place. Obviously, um, 19 charcoal is going to be way more than enough to light up this small piece of land, but, you know, I was thinking, what if we could light up more of this land with less? So, I've come up, I mean, there's this thing called a uh, tiny torch. It's from, it's from the mod actually editions, and what you actually need is you need either mini coal or mini charcoal. And the way to get mini charcoal is one charcoal can be crafted into eight mini charcoal. So effectively, we have like a bunch. So from one torch, we can get as much as 12, uh, eight torches. So I think that's pretty cool. We'll just F4, I think. Oh no, F4 is not. What's, what's the button to check the whether mobs spawn there or not? Actually, I don't know. I don't know, okay? <laughs> if you. If you look at the bottom, you can see. Uh, in the inventory, you can see that, yeah, there is a tiny torch, but it's literally just so tiny. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. So, this means that we can use the rest of our charcoal instead of creating, wasting them on making a lot of torches that we could use, we could create with way less. We can use them to instead smelt things, which could be useful. So, um, another cool thing is that you can cook silkworm. Cooking silkworm is, I'm not gonna do it because I have enough apples to live by, but cooking silkworm gives you cooked silkworm, silkworm and it's effectively one of the best early game food sources apparently. That's what people are saying at least. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. You know, talking about food sources, there is a thing I would like to do and that is I would like to farm an apple tree so how do you farm an apple tree um you just need one sapling and three apples and it gives you an apple sapling so here you go this is an apple sapling and we'll just wait for it to grow basically uh i don't know whether okay this thing does not work on oh it does so basically what you have here is apples. Uh, you don't need to chop down the tree once it's planted, you just leave it there. So that's why I built another patch of dirt here. So effectively, the apple is kind of like silkworms if you think about it for a while. The apples will eventually ripen and then when it's ripened you can just pluck them off and then more apples will grow. So actually kind of cool. So now that we have so much cobble, um, I think we are going to need about 60 of it. We are going to want to break down 60 of it into uh, gravel. And the reason for that is because you see really, you see really quickly like why later we are going to need so much gravel. It's because to create a uh, cobble gen, which is our obvious next step, we are going to need water and lava. So we can have our water here. And we can create lava through melting cobble in the crucible, which we'll be doing later. However, we don't have a way of transporting those into the world. That's why we are going to need some cobble. And now that I think about it, So the one of the only ways to get gravel this early on is to hammer cobble. However, hammering cobble is really, really not not a fun thing to do. It's it's horribly a time inefficient. <laughs> 
And generally, I could just go around all day hammering this thing with perhaps... I should probably make a stone hammer now that I think about it. Uh... But, um, okay, apparently I was not aware of this before, but I am now. We have ore excavator installed in this mod pack. So basically what ore excavator does is you can hold the tilt key, you know, the key right next to one, and while breaking the block, and boom! The entire, the entire patch of cobble that we just laid down just now, all in, in just about the same speed it would take to break one piece of cobble, we now have a bunch of gravel. So it's like really fast. It's a really fast method of. Let's see. Generally, just breaking down anything you need. Um, generally, I'm just afraid that. The things will fall off, but I don't think they will. Okay, what just happened? Okay, wait. I had no. I have no idea what just happened. We just broke like ten, ten pieces of, ten blocks of cobble, and all I got was one block of gravel. Um, what is going on? <laughs> Never mind, I'll just go and get some more cobble and then... get some more gravel. Also, it's kind of just occurred to me that or excavator works with trees as well, you can just hold down that key and then you can share leaves in just one click. It's pretty amazing to be honest. It also works on wood. I think it just pretty much works with everything of the same type, so if you accidentally take an axe and maybe <laughs> vein mine the entire floor, then whoops, that would be the end <laughs> of your base. <laughs> So now we have quite a lot of gravel, so here we go. So apparently, sieving gravel, as far as I'm aware, is the one with the highest chance of getting iron, which we are going to need. We're going to need quite a lot of iron now that I think about it. Um, let me check, let me check. Sieving gravel gives 20% um, of iron. Sieving, sieving dust gives 20% of iron. And sieving sand gives also 20%. So there's really no need for us to break it, the gravel down into anything else, so we're just going to sieve it, and just look how fast this is. It's, it's really ridiculous, to be honest. So I kind of calculated my odds, if uh, I had a 20% chance of getting iron, I'd need approximately 60 pieces of gravel to get just enough iron. And, oh, look at these. Right. So how much iron do we get? How much iron do we get? We got 9. That's enough for 2 iron ore chunk pieces. And that's not enough. That's not enough. We need, I think we need 3 more. Oh no, look. Just enough. Just enough for 3. What? Okay, no, never mind. Uh, we, we don't have enough. There was a little dirt over there. But never mind then, I guess. We'll just have to make do with what we have. Make some mini charcoal. The thing about mini charcoal is that uh, one of them burns exactly one thing. So once you smelt iron ore chunk, it turns into iron ingots. 
Right, so that's why I want the tree because it takes three to make a bucket. So we do still have a little bit of cobblestone, which we can break down over here. Right, I finally got that last piece of iron. It took took quite a while actually. That my luck just doesn't seem to be so good today. And we've got some iron ingots. So there goes to crafting a basket. Did I just say basket? <laughs> I actually meant bucket, sorry. Okay, right, so now we need to create some clay. Why? Because we need a crucible. Uh, remember how I said that we need a crucible to melt cobble into lava? Well, that's exactly what we're go do gonna do now. So, a fire crucible can just take some porcelain clay. And how you make some porcelain clay is basically clay with bone meal. So, oh, oh, I totally forgot about the bone meal part. <laughs> how are you gonna find bone meal? This is gonna be a problem. Right, bone meal has a 23 drop chance on uh, dust in a flint mesh but additionally we also need some clay so I think what I'll do first is I'll get the clay clay is relatively easy to get I think uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get it okay I think I think I know how to get it um, okay we need dust and water so, where, where's our cobble? Our cobble is here. I think we really only need a few. 3, 2, 5. We shouldn't really even need 3, but whatever. One, two, three, four, five. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So basically, it kind of goes gravel, clay, sand. Uh, no, gravel, cl sand, dust. So you throw dust in here, you get clay. How much clay do we need again? We need seven. So I think we only need two of these. Then I can craft these. Oh, all right. And then we can just put them and then we just break them with our hands. We get eight clay great so now the I think the hard part about this is going to be getting the bone meal so we we have some flint now so I think we can make a flint stiffened mesh have a, a 23 drop chance means that if we want and we're going to need a lot of bone meal let me just repeat we're going to be needing crazy amount of bone meal short of short of straight out getting uh, mob spawner which is I don't feel like making one yet I just feel like we're not ready we really don't have enough resources oh wait <laughs> I just realized something can we hammer compressed Blocks. That is the question because if we can, then that is going to speed things up so much quicker. Nope, nope. <laughs> it's, it's going to give us back. I mean, we can. I think we can do compressed stone hammers, but ooh, that is a lot of hammers. We don't have so many, but we, we can make a wooden one, I guess. I mean, I guess. I guess. I mean, I guess we have enough. We're going to need quite a lot, aren't we? Oh, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool. And then compressed wooden hammer. 
It's gonna have to do with wood now because, ha, honestly. Oh, uh, this gives us nine sand. I was actually expecting that it would give a compressed block of sand, but hey, you know what? This works. So hopefully give us a decently good chance of getting some bone meal. Um, how much do we need again? We need seven. I feel like we should have gotten more than seven. We've gotten eight, so that's, that's just enough. Just enough. So, cool. Got everything we need. Let's make one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, we can save the one piece of clay for later, I guess. An unfired crucible. Now, an unfired crucible needs to be put in a furnace to be fired up, because that's how it works, I guess. Meanwhile, while we're at it, we can see some. Oh no, it's done. So. We're going to need a torch as a heat source. This is going to be only very temporary stuff, right? Um, breaking this torch. Whoops. I'm actually unsure whether a tiny torch would be able to heat the crucible up. My guess is on no, so. Okay, this is... Nah, I'm just gonna put it here. I mean, I guess it's always cool to see how the thing works, right? Yes. So, now we're going to need four pieces of cobble. One, two, three, four. So four pieces of cobble is going to be eventually create one bucket of lava. So, we'll just wait a little bit, I guess. In the meantime, um, our apples are done. We just need to right click, I think, to harvest. Yes. Oh, nice. This is nice. This is nice. This is really nice. Although, they do grow kind of slow. I kind of wish they would grow faster, but uh, this is fine. The, the process is very slow. I think it's kind of like about one per second. I think. If um, torches have a rate of one, if you use something like lava, I think it speeds up by three times. However, we, we don't have lava yet, so we can't do that. Right, so I think we're good. I've used the water bucket to collect the bucket of water over here and place the wooden barrel there because the wooden the barrel was getting in my way. So here I have created a little stone platform. It's separate from the rest. I'll be putting the lava in here and the water here. This to ensure that the wooden platform will not burn because if that happens, that will be terrible. We've also seen that. Ah, look, the crucible. The uh, lava is done. So you can collect the lava in the bucket and throw it in here. And then, oh, we we need a we need a pick. I would prefer a stone pick, but I don't have any stone. I'll just real quickly see some dirt. So, um, how do I create a pick? This is a pick. This is not a pick. Uh, okay, this is a pick. Yes! Oh my god, I, I keep forgetting stuff. Right, and then, if we stand in the center here, and we mine this block. I messed up. Alright, I think I've got this working now. Test. Yes, it works! Ha! <laughs> So, um, it's still a really little bit messy. Okay, it's really messy. But it works. So, here we have a cobble gen that works. So, using this, I can quite quickly get some. Okay. It, it just turned into obsidian. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. Minecraft is weird. Alright, so I think I know how I'm gonna make it work. So, basically, okay. Here's my bucket of lava. I'm just gonna go grab my bucket of water. I think I'll build it while explaining to you guys what I'm doing. So basically, what I'm gonna be making is a some sort of a um, top-down system where lava flows from the top to the bottom and water comes in from the side. So. 
Well, it's going to have to come in from here. Lava is going to come down from here. Right, so the reason this works because um, the only thing we actually need is for lava to hit flowing water and make sure that water does not hit lava, which is the reason why our previous two attempts failed so badly. <laughs> so, okay, here goes nothing. Um, I'm going to put our... Okay, wait. We, we might need to build this out a little bit. This is going to be ugly for now. But I swear I'll try and make it look better eventually. But for now I have to deal with my terrible architecture. Alright, the center needs to be voided out. So, this is how this is going to work. We're going to put water here and it's going to flow down into the void. Then, we're going to um, grab the lava and place it down here. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, okay, this is bad. What did I do? What have I done? Okay, so I think I know what went wrong, or rather what I didn't, what I didn't do. Uh, haha. <laughs> I might have forgotten to block off some parts of this system. Uh, this system is... This part is supposed to be blocked. So yeah, okay, now it works. Good. Right, nothing nothing funny anymore. <laughs> oh my god, that was terrible. That was an epic failure, but... Guess what? We now have this. Um, oh. Oh. Okay. I think we might need... Alright. We've lost our bucket of water. Ah, uh, I mean, come on! I mean, you're kidding me, right? You're kidding me, right? Honestly, this entire episode has just been a mess of me absolutely not knowing how to build things. Uh, I think the main problem with this system is that The thing gets burned the exact moment that I mine it, so this is not going to work. We are going to need another method. Oh my god, I thought I thought this was going to work. Uh, apparently it's not. Apparently it's this this system does not work. Alright, so I so I actually went ahead and throw some leaves into the crucible, which We'll convert it into water, however then it just started raining, so we have lots of water here. We don't need you anymore. <laughs> okay, so I think this is this should work. If this doesn't work, I really don't know what I'm gonna do anymore, so lava goes here, I think. And then it's gonna flow there. I think this is going to work, right? I think. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to create an infinity water source so we just don't have to rely on stuff like this on rain and water thingies. So I think water source one would have to go here. And the other water block would go on the opposite corner. Basically here. And then we have an infinity water source. I hope. Break this first. And then we can just grab, use a pickaxe and grab this out. And, um, okay, let's see what happens. No, okay, this is bad. This is bad. The water flows too fast. The water flows way too fast. Alright, guys, so I found a setup that works. So, as I didn't really change the uh, what do you call it arrangement, but I just cut. I just made it so that there's no cobblestone block 
blocking the water flow. So basically how this works is that when water flows down here, this is what I assume how it works because I'm not really even familiar with vanilla mechanics. Um, when water flows down here, it's the default stream since um, the this side is blocked is it turns right down here. So when I break this block, the water will not flow straight because its stream is already going down there. So that allows the lava to flow and you know touch the water to form um, cobble. So this works. I'm glad I finally found something that works. So yeah, I can finally farm farm cobble. This is this is this is probably way faster than whatever I was doing. What was that? So, I think this is where I'm going to end today's episode. Today, uh, Today's episode has just basically been this mixture of failure and just <laughs> me not knowing how to make a cobble jet. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You probably had a good laugh watching me attempt to make a cobble jet because I don't really even know. Um, between now and episode 3, I'll probably just be standing here sitting here in front of the computer anyways mining some cobble and i'll see you guys next episode